This refill is a collection of sounds specially created for a reason. Things that kind of rock my boat, things that I use on tracks, things I thought would be useful for, for musicians to play around with, and a collection of mainly beats and also bass parts and synth parts for people to get inspired with. Um, it's quite eclectic, it's not for everyone, I'll have to admit, but it's, if you want a bit of interesting colour and a bit of um, character, this is a this is the collection for you, I, I think. I'm Pascal Gabriel. I'm a producer uh, and a songwriter. I've worked with people like uh, Kali, Dido, S Express, Bomb the Bass. More recently, Lady Hawk and uh, Miss Kitten. Um, I'm introducing you to my refill library and it's very eclectic just like my taste. When I start a new project I usually start with a loop or a beat or a bass line or a riff. Um, in the Rex files, in the tuners Rex files, um, there's loads of those that are kind of two bars, four bars, six bars long, eight bars long, uh, little sections for you to, to kind of get inspired and build up on and once I've got that kind of vibe going for eight bars or so uh, then I flesh it out and move it on and just take it down for the bridge and so on. Um, and that's my kind of work, you know, my, my work progression if you like. On my computer I have a folder full of little two bars and four bar sections of IDs and little snippets. I've included them in the refill so if you're looking for a bit of fun and inspiration that's probably the first place to go. The patches for this refill come from a variety of sources. Quite a lot of patches come from my Moog Voyager, which I've designed specially for the, for the refill, from the ARP Odyssey, from the Korg Monopoly, from the Pro One, from the 106, Juno 106, which is an old workhorse, but which is still, well, you can, you can see it's uh, very well worn. <laughs> um, some from the Prophet VS, some from the Roland MKS-80, uh, and some from my uh, VL tone. Uh, <laughs> it comes from everything. It comes even from the uh, the mini synthesizer, the Electro Harmonics mini synthesizer, which is really super ultra rare. And I'd love to buy another one. So if any of you out there have one, I'll, I'll buy it off you. In the refill, in the synth category, you have basses, which are all mixed up. You've got uh, combis, you've got sample basses, and you've got tour basses and a few maelstrom basses. For instance, bell bass here is a sample, it's an NXT sample, which is actually coming from the Prophet VS over here. It's a nice little sound, it's got a nice little bell resonance to it. The next section is a section called chops. Um, chops are kind of, uh, kind of rhythmical parts that you play either chordal or monophonically. You've got a scream organ kind of chop. Leads and tuners, uh, that's a section, basically, it's all leads, it's all, I call, what I call leads and tuners, I mean, I don't use leads very often, actually, I use kind of little riffy parts here and there, but tuners is something that's going to mark a monophonic part, usually monophonic part, that's going to be a kind of riff or a, a lead, I guess. Uh, I, I see leads as much more, usually more aggressive than tuners, but they're vaguely about the same. One of my favorite one is this one, it's Lindstrom lead. Kind of 70s sort of, sort of sound. Next category is pads. Uh, there's this Brian organ, which is slightly inspired from Brian Wilson. It's a nice little sound. This sound is, uh, this combi is called Lady Hawk Pad and it's a combination of different Lady Hawk sounds I used on a uh, track on her album. At the back of the track called Morning Dreams, it's uh, used with a choir. The drum loops were made from my sound, my own personal sound library uh, of different beats and and different snare hits and beat hits that I compiled and basically reprogrammed and rearranged to make it uh, to make it your own. 
Art of Drums kit is a little bit inspired by the Art of Noise and early 80s Fairlight sounds, so it's 8-bit and a bit crushed and a bit crunched and a bit lo-fi. Beastie Kit sounds circa 1982 New York, big fat kick, cracking snare, really toppy hi-hat and plenty of compression. The Bonhomme kit is my take on French contemporary music like Justice and Kavinsky and that sort of stuff. Really compressed, really squashed, really destroyed. The refill content is really designed for people who want a bit of inspiration in their songwriting, you know, in their, in their creative life. And that's it really. Um, it's, it's, it's very hard for me to explain it in any other way. In that, you know, if, you want, if you're a bit stuck for an idea and you think, oh, what should I do today? You know, I really, you know, inspiration is gone and mojo isn't here. Oh, I know, melophobia, that's what I'll use. That, and that should get you going, I hope. <laughs> that would be the best thing for me.